Hi, today I'm going to show you how to take a Surface Pro 3 and even if you completely destroy all the partitions, uh, wipe it all, install Linux, no matter what you do to your Surface Pro 3, I'm going to show you how you can restore it back to stock, um, including putting the recovery partition back in place and it's actually really, really easy. All you're going to need to do this is a 8GB uh, or 16GB, minimum 8GB uh, thumb drive. And uh, that's all you're going to need to do this. Uh, I'll walk you through the steps on how to do this. Well, I guess you'll also need a Microsoft account in order to uh, download the recovery uh, that you'll need for your Surface Pro 3. So um, let's get to it. I'll walk you through the steps. Okay, today we are going to show you how to restore a Surface Pro 3 even after wiping all the partitions. So say you want to load up some Linux installation, you're doing some testing, you don't want to lose your Windows 8.1, your license activation on your Surface Pro 3. Well, I'm here to show you how, no matter what you do to your Surface Pro 3, you can get it back to stock condition. So uh, the first thing you need to do is go to this website, uh, microsoft.com slash surface. Uh, you can read it right there. Um, I'll put this link in the notes of this video. Uh, once you're here, you need to uh, scroll down and sign in. So once you've signed in, you can tell it you want the recovery for your Surface Pro 3. Um, you can also select previously recorded. Uh, ones. I'll go ahead and do that so you can see. And it will go ahead and let you download the file straight to your computer. So there it is right there. So I've already downloaded this, so I'll take you to the next step. Got it here on the desktop. And what I'm going to do is um, start with a... Well... I'm going to start with the thumb drive. So I have inserted a 16 gig thumb drive. You'd probably be fine with an 8 gig. Um, but what you want to do is right click and go format. Choose FAT32. Uh, set the default allocation size and click format. So you go ahead and do that, which I've already done. Um, and then the next step would be to open up this file that you've downloaded from Microsoft and you want to extract all and you can extract all the files straight onto the zip drive that you have just uh, barely formatted in FAT32 and it needs to be FAT32 so you would do that I've already done that so uh, I'll just let you see what it looks like so you can see that we've got the whole thing copied over to the thumb drive. So um, let's go ahead and take this thumb drive and boot it up on the Surface Pro 3 and see if we can delete all the partitions and completely restore uh, the Surface Pro 3. Okay, so after you've created your uh, restore disk, uh, what you need to do is hold the volume down button and keep it held. Tap the on button until you see the Surface logo. At that point you can then let go of the volume down. So what I'm going to attempt to show you is, um, is if this recovery USB that we've created will A be able to restore if the partitions are deleted like if you installed Linux or just wipe the drive completely like a secure race situation and also whether it will uh, reinstall the recovery partition on the computer itself which I don't know if it will do that or not so you choose uh, your region and keyboard settings and then what you want to do is troubleshoot and advanced options 
and I'm actually going to use the command prompt here. And what I'm going to do is uh, delete the partitions so we can see if that actually works. So uh, at the command prompt, let me see if I can zoom that in so you can actually tell what's going on. So uh, disk part. I'm going to run that. And then once disk part is running, I'm going to say list disk. I've got two disks here, the original SSD and the drive here. So I'm going to select disk zero. I'm just going to type clean. OK. OK, so that wiped the drive completely. There are no partitions on the disk. And just to prove that point, I'm actually going to reboot. And hopefully I didn't just screw up my surface. But okay, I'm taking the USB drive out, and we're just going to see what a blink partition is going to do on a Surface Pro 3. Okay, so with no partition, we're just right at the boot screen. So my device is potentially blitzed. Say I installed a Linux partition or, you know, was playing with Ubuntu and just wiped my disk. So I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to put the thumb drive back in. And let's boot it back up by booting from the USB thumb drive, hold volume down, tap power on, okay it's booting from my recovery device, one would hope Still blinking, thinking. Perfect, this is what we want to see. So it is able to boot off this thumb drive, just a FAT32 thumb drive, copy the files onto it. That's all you need to do. You don't need to mess around with the boot sector. English, US, troubleshoot, reset your PC. So I'm going to click that. And do I want to repartition the drives on the PC? I'm going to say yes. Please do. And I choose just remove my files because I don't want to do a clean erase and write a bunch of zeros to my drive. I'm fine. So, um, reset. So here we go. We're going to let this install. The big question is going to be whether or not it reinstalls the uh, recovery partition for us or not. So we'll let this run and we'll see. Okay, so we're back in, and uh, let's go ahead and see what that reinstallation did. So I'm going to right click and go manage, and let's take a look and see what the disk looks like. Go to the disk management console. And you can see here, 
um, it did restore everything back to normal, including the recovery partition. So, yes, it is possible to completely delete all the partitions on your SSD on a Surface Pro 3 and get back to bone stock. So, hope this helps you out, um, walking you through the process, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe for more great videos on the Surface Pro 3. Thanks. Bye.